With this, let's move forward and welcome our next speaker. Well, up next we have co-founder and COO Trail taking center stage. He tells us how the company is creating a platform for tier two and tier three markets and targeting consumers searching for lifestyle and aspirational content in the local language. The company also recently launched a new commerce platform called Bharat Dukan for beauty products. And uh, we have uh, Mr. Bimal Karthik Reba, co-founder and COO Trell, who's here to talk all on it and give us the complete download. So hi there again, Bimal, good evening to you. How are you doing this evening? Thanks, Vidin, for the kind introduction. I'm doing good. How about you? Very good, uh, Bimal. First thing, I want to thank you for being one of those uh, uh, partners with us. Indeed, very great support that you give, you and your team give us. And uh, I'm sure it's just a start for a long, long, long way to go. Uh, before I kind of get, let the whole uh, floor open up, I quickly want to understand, uh, looking at your face right now, you're smiling, you're very happy about it. So what is keeping the happiness alive? You know, what we're building uh, today, right, that makes us happy. Uh, there's a problem statement that's there out there, right? Building for Bharat, as, as we're talking about. Right. Um, the challenges are new. There's no template. So it's, we are trying to, on day-to-day -day basis, uh, figure out our way around how to build for Bharat. <laughs> so that's what keeps us awake and also happy at the same time. Absolutely. And I, I just love that spirit that you have right now. And uh, uh, I'm sure it's going to be a very, very amazing session that I'm looking forward for. And so is our audience. So over to you, Vimal, and post you're done. I'll have a bunch of questions awaiting your way. Sure. Uh, so I'll quickly jump into what we're doing. Uh, thanks for the kind introduction. Uh, you know, I quickly, you know, I was listening to some of the conversations um, the, the previous speakers were talking about in terms of why it is very important today uh, to speak to Indian consumers in their own language. And that is what we are doing with Trell, right? Uh, we are building India's largest lifestyle app, right? Um, our vision statement is very simple. We're trying to organize lifestyle information for Indian users, but in their own languages that they understand the most or speak everyday basis. So uh, here comes Trell. We are India's largest lifestyle platform. Uh, but in terms of, uh, we, we're just not serving content to the people. Our key mission statement is also is to introduce uh, these users to various products and experiences and also help them transact on the platform, uh, which we call social commerce as of today. So we're India's largest social commerce platform in terms of traffic. Uh, I'll take you through how we do social commerce here on Trend. But briefly the agenda today, we're going to cover about uh, social commerce. Then uh, we're going to talk about the type of the content that we have on the platform, our commitment for the new Bharat that we're talking about, and obviously some of the brand success stories that we have on Trell. So uh, quickly jumping into the evolution. Uh, uh, can we go to the next slide? Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are. Yes. So building for Bharat is also as an, you know, preeminent threat of this bandwidth issues. I'll cover that too some other day. But so quickly jump, jumping into the, um, I'm, I'm just going to give a parallel story in terms of what is social commerce and its evolution. So why an India and China story? We both uh, are socially similar in nature in terms of how we react or perceive uh, things. And uh, even their journey of e-commerce is quite similar to us. The only thing is we, we, we are lagging behind five to seven years uh, because of the nature of uh, uh, evolution of the internet in India, right? So quickly talking about e-commerce, the first routes always starts with horizontal players, uh, introducing people to different products. But again, horizontal in nature, that likes of Amazon, uh, what Flipkart is currently doing in India. Uh, then uh, comes the vertical story where we would understand that not all Categories uh, find their due attention on horizontal platforms and they need a separate treatment for it. And that comes, that gives rise to this uh, vertical players. And that's, that's where you have the likes of 
uh, today Mintra or the first cry or the big basket ex existing and flourishing in India. And that's where the things uh, take an interesting turn. With, with the evolution of in, uh, internet in our country, uh, people getting used to multimedia rich content, it would allow them to not only look at, you know, a photo catalog, uh, but it would also allow them to understand products and services through more multimedia rich experiences such as video, videos. And that gives rise to a social commerce or a social way of shopping where users can uh, get in touch with their favorite creators, uh, uh, understand the products and services through the influences that they follow the most, and then make uh, these purchases on the platform. And that is where we are, Trell, right? A social commerce platform. But why this works in, in, in our country, it's not a playbook that we are trying to derive from a different country, but look at the trust economy that we have as of today, right? Uh, we are skewed. Uh, we, 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 we worship our idols. We even build temples for them. So if you talk about a trust uh, economy of it, it's very concentrated. That means uh, if you trust someone, you would actually look into the recommendation. And that is what is happening in the offline behavior too. Uh, if you're today uh, walking into any store, uh, it, it could be a boutique store or um, it, it could be a saloon, you are actually looking up to that particular person uh, over there for their subject matter expertise before you engage in any decision. And uh, th that is the kind of a behavior that we are trying to replicate uh, online, right, across these various categories that you see, personal care, cosmetics, home and kitchen, gadgets, etc. And more importantly, we are trying to do that uh, in their own language, uh, right? So I'm, I come from a Telugu speaking state and my mother tongue is Telugu, uh, but I, I, I do find it very interesting that there's not much content around products and services in my own language, uh, leave, leave aside uh, the other languages, right? So this is a simple problem statement that we are trying to solve. And why it is important is if you see nine of the 10 internet users today who are coming on the, inter joining the internet bandwagon, are actually consuming content in their own language. Now that's a start, startling fact, but that's the fact to the least. So that means we have to have these services tailor-made for them in their own language. And most of them today, as they come online to shop, they are struggling to actually make a consideration because the product description is in English. How would you make a sense of it, right? Specifically when it comes to making decisions under lifestyle as a segment, right? It's, it's very difficult, so they do not have these services available in their own language. And uh, the kind of audiences also that we're looking at today, if you see, uh, it's not that they are monetizable. It's not that they do not have a willingness to pay. Uh, in fact, the India too, as we see, right? Uh, who's, uh, if you look at the per capita average ranging between 1400 to $1,500, right? Their total addressable market size is $300 billion. That's twice the size of uh, the India one that we see today, right? Which is uh, predominantly English speaking and 50 million odd. So this is, uh, they are looking to come and join this internet bandwagon or also shop online. But one of the key, um, uh, you know, entry barriers for these consumers, as we see is that, you know, 96% of our content creators are actually creating content in English. But the consumers, if you see, 73% of them are actually consuming content in their own language. Now look at the disparity, right? So that it, it, it uh, what does that mean? That means that we need to create a more inclusive environment for this uh, regional creators to come and create content in their own language. And that is what we're doing here at Trell, right? Creating an ecosystem of key opinion leaders who are there online and creating content in their own language. Now, if you see, these are the uh, simple things that we're talking about. Uh, we are, uh, there, there are two promises that we do on the platform. One is for the consumers. It's a one-stop destination where they could watch the content in, uh, of their favorite interest in any of the lifestyle categories, such as home, home decor, uh, fashion, personal care, etc. Follow their favorite influencers for the recommendations around products, purchases products all on one single platform, right? And we are available in eight languages as of today. And uh, uh, this, as just summarizing the gap that we are trying to address, right? Um, we know voice and vernacular, visual and video, and social shopping is just not the thing, but it's way how people are going to engage with internet to, uh, today and tomorrow. And that's what we are trying to do. And the categories we focus, as I talked about, is highly lifestyle. We are not an entertainment uh, player. We focus um, in ensuring that there is a takeaway for the end users as they engage with the content. So beauty, makeup, grooming, fashion are some of the key categories that are um, available on the platform. And we have a very equitable distribution in terms of language consumption on the platform.
right? Uh, that's 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 a simple gap that we are trying to address. And what is social commerce for us? It's it's a very simple uh, play. People can watch content around their favorite product, look at that product, and purchase that product from the video within itself. So we are marrying all the aspects of social commerce into one single entity of a vertical video that is for mobile consumption. So a quick demonstration. I think we're not able to uh, hear the audio. Is there a way we can hear the audio? Welcome back to my trial channel for people in New York. Hi, I'm Tarnisha and today I'm going to be reviewing Plum's Green Tea Night Gel. This is an ultra light night gel that ensures not to give you that oily, greasy face in the morning. It has That's it. Uh, so we are building for convenience for these users too. Uh, as I talked about, uh, the key stakeholders who help us do what we are, uh, what what we aspire to do on day to day basis are our key opinion leaders. Day in and day out, they create content for end users, uh, ensure that they are factually correct, uh, and and also learn more about their particular category categories on day to day basis, right? And uh, some of the key stats on our platform. We have uh, around 55 million monthly active users who use uh, our platform on a day-on-day -day basis and sp spend close uh, to around 40 minutes on the platform, right? And uh, watch at least 15 videos per session. And most importantly, what we are very proud of uh, about the fact that we are, we are present in eight languages and we are looking uh, to expand to furthermore languages and make ourselves more useful to the Indian consumers as we speak. Um, in terms of gender distribution, again, one of the most uh, interesting aspect of us uh, we have a, again a very equitable distribution to uh, uh, male and female ratios on the platform um, by the nature of how uh, it, it talks about how uh, useful they find our platform onto our day-to-day -to -day usage, right? Um, again, a young platform, 18 to 34, is the key uh, uh, user age that we see on the platform today. And in terms of distribution, we have uh, uh, tier two and tier three occupying close to 60% uh, of the entire um, distribution. And just quickly talk about, um, you know, it's just not about um, what we said. The brands today are also finding uh, this as an interesting medium to come and engage with us. The pandemic has pushed brands to adopt online as one of their key focus areas, right? Uh, and today, if you see the offline district, when you talk about offline, you know, the shelf spaces in offline scenario has been, have been replaced by influencers in online scenario, right? That helps people to discover products uh, understand products better and also purchase and that's what's happening with us we've tied up with multiple brands we uh, are also uh, uh, doubling down as launch pads to a lot of d2c brands that are being created today specifically in beauty and personal care segments helping them to come uh, integrate with us uh, create content in multiple languages through key opinion leaders uh, garner viewership over there and also complete sales only on one single platform so we are the true form of uh, also a launch pad for most of D2C platform or D2C brands today in India. So some of the key cases, again, Bombay Shaving Company, uh, a quick demo. All right, you guys, I hope you're doing good. I'm back with another video. So I have here, the Bombay Shaving Company is a detan jackal kit. This kit is a proper skin ke routine kit. Hai. So I'm going to show you what it is. So I have here, jackal face wash. Charcoal face scrub. We can quickly Charcoal go to the next video. Mask. Hi guys, I'm Tarnisha. Welcome and welcome back to my RGTV for people in here. Hi, I'm Tarnisha.
Anusha and today I'm here with my guy friends. So my guy friends don't really take care of themselves and today I had the opportunity. But we take care of her. <laughs> yeah, they take care of me, they took care of me. So I got an opportunity to give them a self-care day because Bombay Shining Company sent me all these amazing products. So all these products basically have charcoal in them which is a great purifying ingredient. So it deep cleanses your skin and it's just like a full-on cleansing no. facial routine. Which is super so, uh, so right. let me go to the next slide. Yeah, yeah. So, the, some of the brand success stories uh, we've been helping out there with the brands also, um, uh, collaborating with them. And we are open to all these D2C brands to come and engage with us uh, for an end to end solutioning only on one platform. So, that's about it. Uh, try to be as quick as possible. I hope I was uh, clear enough in terms of what we're building and where we are. Absolutely, you were. Thank you, Vimal. So, two things, Vimal. Uh, first thing is, you know, uh, you, your office is like two kilometers away from where I reside. Uh, wow. And second thing is, yeah, you had a list of influences on your slide, but you missed my slide, my photo. That is a bad thing now. I'm going to be talking about that for sure. <laughs> I had an appendix slide in which I talked about the most important influencer. I had to skip because of the time constraints, but <laughs> within you are. <laughs> well, thank you, Vimal, so, so much. It was very, very insightful. In fact, what you're providing... Uh, the youth generally is a platform to, you know, fetch more in the coming times. And uh, it's really great what you're doing and your team is doing. So thank you so much. I yeah. want just, just to summarize over there, it's just not about youth. It's, it's how India is going to shop in the future. So what we're building is how India is going to shop uh, in the future. Right. And uh, uh, so I, I think it's just not for the consumers, but for the brands today, it's very important for them to understand these platforms and start engaging with it. Absolutely. India is ready with trail is what I have to say uh, to kind of conclude this. And I will drop by in your office sometime and uh, hoping that you'll be in your office and we can share a cup of coffee for sure. Yes. Okay. Thanks a lot. Uh, for your time. Vimal, thank you so much for joining us here and we'll connect very soon. Thank you so much for being with us right now and all the very best to you and your team in the coming future.